This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Friday, May 29th, 2015. So the euro has found a little bit of support into Friday with the market bouncing off recent lows that we saw this week around 108.20. But the downtrend remains firmly intact and any rally should be very well capped into that previous neckline resistance of a double bottom uh, that, that should cap gains around 110.50. At this point, only a break back above recent highs that we saw around 112.10 would compromise the, the current bearish outlook and take the pressure off the downside sterling dollar. So cable has done a good job of rolling over after stalling out the other week at 58.15 by those fresh 2015 highs and the market is now poised for deeper setbacks back towards recent support in the form of the uh, low on the 4th of May which comes in around 150.89. At this point any rally should be very well capped into uh, the 155.50 area in favor of a continued downside really only back above highs that we saw going back to the 55.50, 56 area Area would compromise the immediate bearish outlook. Dollar yen. So dollar yen seeing a bit of a pullback into Friday, though the market continues to be very well supported on dips and should trade higher uh, into the 125 to 130 area after this week breaking out above recent multi-year and yearly highs at 122. At this point, any setback should be very well supported by that previous resistance at 122, again with a push seen towards the 125 to 130 area further up. Daily studies are, however, overextended, so there is risk for a bit of a pullback, but again, any dip should be very well supported in this very intense, highly constructive bullish market. Euro Swiss. So although Euro Swiss has pulled back, it's been very well supported again in the 103.05 area, just ahead of 103, uh, coinciding with those lows that we saw back on the 7th of May. At this point, uh, the market is expected to find a base here in favor of fresh upside and a recovery back above the recent highs that we saw at 105.25. Really, only a break and close below 102.35 would compromise the recovery outlook in Euro Swiss. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has been under some intense pressure in recent days with the market now back to testing key recent support in the form of the yearly and multi-year low at 75.33. Look for a break below this level to confirm a lower top at 81.63 and open the next major downside extension towards 70 further down. Really any rallies right now should be very well capped ahead of 79. Dollar CAD. So although we've seen a little bit of weakness in Dollar CAD into Friday with the market putting in a high uh, on, on Thursday at 25.38 about, the market should be very well supported on dips after it put in a base uh, the other week at 19.19, which looks to be a medium term high or low ahead of a bullish resumption back above the recent highs that we saw this year at 28.35. Ultimately, look for any setbacks in Friday trade to be very well supported ahead of 122. Kiwi dollar. So a big development for Kiwi on Thursday with the market finally taking out its yearly and multi-month low at 71.76 going back to early February and this break now confirms a lower top at 77.44 and opens the next major downside extension in this pair towards 65. At this point any intraday rally should be very well capped ahead of 74. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 continues to chop around just off record highs at 2137, though the market is expected to eventually trade lower with the, uh, with longer term studies looking stretched and the market exhausted. At this point though, we need to see a break and close back below the recent lows that we saw at 2099 to put the pressure back on the downside and open the door for a retest of that key low at 2040 further down. Of course, a push above 2137 would negate and open the door for fresh upside towards the 2150 area. Gold. So although we've seen setbacks in gold in recent trade after the market stalled out above 1230, the market continues to show signs of basing off that 2014 low, and any setbacks are expected to be very well supported now ahead of 1170 in favor of an eventual push back above 1232 and towards the 1300 area further up. Really, only a daily close below 1170 would compromise the outlook and put the pressure back on that 2014 base at 1131.